Hey everybody, this is Green Star Clover. In the last episode, we got this far in Jabba Jabu's belly and trying to save Princess Fruto. Um, I don't, we don't know why she's doing here, but nonetheless, we're trying to rescue her. In this episode, we are gonna go through this dungeon. So let's head on. And, I mean, move on. And please don't see move along. I like this song, but I just don't like seeing it right now. So, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, not our last. And, uh, every time. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Those holes do suck you in. It's like quicksand, more or less. And they will. I mean, literally, they will suck you in. And I'm hearing enemy. Sorry about it. I, I don't, just don't trust them. Uh, I trust going that far, so. Oh my gosh. That was just a hit and miss. My best way of actually throwing the boomerang as targeting is your head is your target. So if it fits in Link's head, it actually gets destroyed. And our next Scotchula right there. Getting Scotchulas more than ever. Ah, oh, let's get the heck out of here because that's only the only two Scotchulas here. If my memory serves me right, but that's okay. And oh my gosh, what is that? Is that? That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Okay, princess. Whatever you say. Princess Ruto got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Ruto? I don't know. Oh my goodness, I finally found it. My mother's stone. Oh, that explains it. I got very upset when Lord Jabba Jabba swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. <laughs> Flashback, technically he swallowed me too, so <laughs> that makes both of us the fool. <laughs> but now, I found it. I don't need to be here anymore. So, take me home right now. To many princes, are you? Okay, let's go home. What the? What the heck? Yuck! What is this? An octopus? Oh, that ain't good. What is this? Oh my goodness! You look very handsome. Not. But nevertheless, you want to get your sticks ready for this. Throw the boomerang. Wait, see. <laughs> I usually want to turn around, so when he spins around. Ah, uh, nope. You want to hit him. It's pretty much a stun attack. There you go. Okay. I want to get far ahead. Ah. Uh, Get there, come on, reach, reach, reach. This is bad. Reach, thank you. Get your stick and jump attack. Kills it with one attack. That's why I think the sticks is probably overrated or overpowered. I want to get my some preparation. Oh, why am I seeing that song? Jeez, Louise. Uh, but anyway, you get supplies right here. Fairy and two Deku sticks. Fairy is full. I have not seen much, but the Deku sticks are very useful in this game. Uh. <coughs> and you got these weird looking jiggly things. Pretty much, you hit it with a boomerang, you stun them, and they become platform. So I'm gonna ignore that guy right there. Because I can, and. Aw, oh, jeez. I messed up totally. <laughs> but they pretty much don't stay as platform all the time, so. Ah! So. Just a little warning to you, they do will come back, and if they get unstunned, well, they will hurt you. 
Hey, a secret passage! One thing you want to do is get one of these boxes, carry it all the way over here. And yes, there's a blue switch. That's why you have a box. Step on it, put the box down, and you're good. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, real cool. You must die. You must die. Annoying little jellyfish. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I was trying to target that. Whoa, that's very... No, I forgot about that. If you get under this water, you hear like it, it underwater. That is, I f totally forgot about that. <laughs> really cool. Um, sound. Go Detendo for that. I really like that, probably. I, I just probably forgot about it. There you go. Let's get the switch with your boomerang. And opens that gate. To our final boss in this dungeon. Here we go. Bioelectricity. It's a bio weapon. Any reference from Star Fox, please say it now. Well, the first thing you need to do is get those chemicals out of the ceiling, and it will come alive at you. So pretty much hit it with your sword, and life is good. And back up as far as you can possibly can, but do not. Undo like me, like an idiot, and get unlocked, and throw your boomerang. This will be just sheer luck if you hit it. I know it takes you a long time just to hit the boomerang, but it's pretty much up to luck. I'm not having good luck. Thank you. I usually get rid of these. And I hurt myself. <laughs> Tells me what I know. And yes, it'll throw electricity at you when it's down. Let's get up! But first, I really want to make this fluff faster if I had these Deku sticks. And yeah, just jump on that. Oh my gosh, I almost got hit. <laughs> just jump around and. Very shocking. Yeah, I just gotta say that. I couldn't resist. Ah. Uh, no! Oh my gosh, I almost got hit. Oh, come on! I knew that he was gonna come up. Hit the dang thing! Thank you, Link. Thank you, that's all I need. But anyway, we defeated it. In a most gruesome way. It's an alien bile weapon. Well, it was a bile weapon, so because I said bile, but I did not say weapon, but nonetheless. We destroyed it. And we got the heart container. But I wonder, we destroyed the heart or a heart. Does that really matter if it was the fish heart? A little concern right there. But nevertheless, it was a heart. And it was a boss. Hey, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely. That's all. Just a little. Yeah, yeah. Take my time, Princess Ruto, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, close. Uh, to close for personal space.
you. You look look cool and cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you say me, so I guess I will reward you. I will reward you, not I I will reward you. <laughs> but I want the stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Or uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm talking. I'm not having good English right now. But pretty much the mother's like, well, I had to give it to my husband and blah blah blah. So it's the most precious, the source, whatever. Uh, I'm not good at that word. That word troubles me. But that's okay. There's sometimes you have trouble words out there. I mean, it's just common to everybody. That's just my word. I could say it, but I won't say it correctly right. So at least I know what it means or what it does. But anyway, you are tying the spiritual stone. Water passed down by the Zoras. Here is our most procession. You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally collect the third time. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, Link. Well, know her the, the, the problem here. Don't tell my father. My lips are sealed. But, uh, nah, I got time. I got still time. I got time for you guys. So, we're gonna do the Sun Song. Because there's a certain Scotula. Certain scuttle here that I want to get out of the way, and of course, I'm in the stinking water. The one thing I did not like the sunstone, but I also like and dislike in certain areas the sun goes down and the moon goes down at that time, but in certain places they warp you to that night or up to that day. So uh, I just like. Well, I'll explain it in one of these videos. So I'm gonna make a day, because I just dislike night in this game. But that's just me. That's just me. But anyway, we got the three spiritual stones. I wonder what we could do with that. You know, I'm gonna just meet you guys to that bean guy and probably call it in that video so I'll meet you there to that selling beans guy latest and I'm back yeah pretty much I'm just getting supplies just want to show you in the video the super popular magic beans in case you were wondering they're soon to be sold out Super prize, 60 rubies, one piece of course. Yes. They will get expensive. But they're gonna be very useful. Probably say that so many times. You want to plant the beans, go around, look for the soft soil, chow chow. So pretty much I just like I like his enthusiastic on this. We have the super rare magic beans! This is could be your last chance! Special price, 70 rubies, one piece. I just like that, that's just awesome. That's something I like about that game. This, this guy's enthusiastic, I mean, oh man, <laughs> it's just awesome. But that's probably it, that's all I can buy from the guy. But nonetheless, I had to go to a certain place and I think it is you, you've been there, I just don't know in the top of my head, so I'll meet you there in the town way. And I'm back. We need to go here at night. And I can't speed up the song with the sun song. But technically I didn't. I lied. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. <coughs> but nevertheless, we need to be here at night for a few reasons. Reason number one, I think there is the Scotulas in the graveyard. Very useful. And... 
belt around here somewhere. I totally forgot where it was. Uh, he's over here. Yeah, there it is. Take that, Scotella. You destroy a golden Scotella, proving you're destroying it. And there's a certain area that we need a plow. Plow. Or plow is the right word to say. Because you gotta plow beans and to plow something to grow. And that's right here. So you will see the first time using a bug going in the hole. So here we go. But remember get one bug. Capture one bug quickly. Alright? And when you get the bug, you'll repeat the process and you get another golden scotch law. Very useful. I don't know if it's a, a glitch or anything, but it works for me. But nevertheless, I think this will be the end of this video. So in the next video, we're gonna find out where to do with these three special stones. Or should we get more cyclists done? Or get more golden scotulas? Who knows? Find out in the next episode. Have a god blessed day, guys, and take care, y'all.